Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111, Gamertag Beedrew93, and this video today is about the Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection. As um, as of a couple of days ago, April 3rd, I got the article right here, I'll put it in the description. Um, basically, the heading is, Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection, release date revealed by Microsoft to be on December 2015. Recent leak allegedly reveals details about the HT, HD remaster of Gears of War. Now, if we go back, so I've got the other article here, if we go back to March 19th, Rod Ferguson from Black Tusk Studio said, and I quote in an official tweet, there will be, thank you for your passion, we love the passion, but there will be no Marcus Phoenix collection. Now, maybe he was just trying to, stop a few people in their tracks because end of the day if you've got a game in development and loads of people are already guessing what you're doing it must be annoying because you kind of you obviously you want it to be a surprise if you are indeed working on it um so he is very much emphasized there's going to be no marcus phoenix collection and in this new article which was out april 3rd it's apparently called Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection. So still, even if Rod Ferguson was genuinely saying there is no Marcus Phoenix Collection, that doesn't mean he said there's going to be no Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection. But that's just if you want to read too much into it. Um, I will read out. I'll read this article from April third, and um, I mean, and then I'll give my opinion on it because there's an there is a, a picture that looks quite official. Um, where basically I'll put it in the I'll put this article in the description so you can go look for, look for yourself. Um, obviously, this picture, you know, anyone and any I I could make this picture. It doesn't mean it's real, but um, you know, it looks legitimate enough. I mean, you know, it's easy enough to do, but it does look all right. It looks like it could be real, but it's basically the three games side by side. Um, it explains that the Gears of Gears of War One will have comp um, the complete edition, including all the map packs. Gears of War Two will be the Game of the Year edition, including um, the All Fronts collection delete and the deleted missions. Uh, Gears of War Three will be the Epic edition, including all DLCs and digital extra content. And then, uh, yeah, and that's it. Um, apparently, it's going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, it's got the ultimate multiplayer, co-op and horde experience with dedicated servers. There'll be beta access for Gears of War 4 in summer 2016. All multiplayer downloadable content. Four player co-op in the Gears of War 1, 2 and 3 campaigns. All Gears of War maps are playable in Gears of War 2 and 3. New skulls available in all campaigns and new easter eggs. And also there'll be a digital copy of the original soundtrack and much more. And that was basically on the banner, the ad. Um, and again, take what you want from this. I'm, this video is not me telling you that there is definitely going to be. I mean, I'm quite sceptical, especially after that tweet from Rod Ferguson. But... They're bound to do a Gears of War collection at some point. So maybe Rod Ferguson was just trying to shut a few people up and then maybe this has been leaked un unintentionally. Whatever the case, if there is going to be a Gears of War remastered, we're most definitely going to hear something E3. But that I read everything I just read then was from this picture and um, the small writing at the bottom. So now I'm going to read the article and I'll go through what I think as we go through the article. Um, it's only a small article. It's literally about... 10 lines, so let's go for it. According to the alleged leaked Gears of War Marcus Phoenix collection ad, Gears of Wars 1, 2 and 3 will be completely remastered for the Xbox One and would run at 1080p 60 frames per second. The ad for the Gears of War Marcus Phoenix collection mentions that buyers of the game would have access to a beta for Gears of War 4. Basically like the Halo Master Chief Collection had the beta for Halo 5 Guardians on it. So basically anyone with the rem with the remastered Gears of War can access the beta. Allegedly set to release summer 2016. So they're in hinting that Gears of War 4 will be a 2000 2016 release. Which, well, I could have guessed that myself really. Meanwhile, Cyberland reported that the Gears of War Marcus Phoenix collection release date is going to be on December 2015, so this Christmas, um, and that is going to be revealed on E3 2015. 
Um, Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection confirmed. Now this is a quote from Cyberland. Um, where the hell's that gone? There we are. Gears of War Marcus Phoenix Collection confirmed. My sources tell me that Microsoft is going to announce the game at E3 2015 and you can get your hands on it by December, wrote Cyberland. Um, I don't know what Cyberland is, but the link is on the page of what well, I'll put the link in the description if that makes sense. It's obviously an article of some kind, uh, all the people behind it, uh, behind this information. So obviously the people have said it first, whether it's true or false, take it as it may. I'm just telling you what I'm reading. And finally, the ad reveals that all DLC content will be, inclu will be included in the Gears of War Max Phoenix Collection. And now, rumours are spreading that the PC version of the Gears of War Max Phoenix Collection is being spread. Um, I, I could have guessed that, mind. Um, with this Windows 10 thing, um, you know, cross-device uh, gaming, that, that was inevitable. And I'm happy about it, because more people playing the same game. More people, more competition, it, it just makes it more fun. Um, I would buy it as is, because my 360 won't last forever, and having all the Gears games redone means that they could backwards make it backward. It, it stops them from making it backwards compatible with an X Xbox and also can use PC. Wrote a fan on Reddit. Right, that is the whole article. Basically, just a more detailed of what I read in the small writing. But um, but no, I think um, I think it seems pretty legit. I mean, like, I mean, even if they've got the dates wrong, like maybe it might not be Christmas. It might be early two thousand sixteen, or it might be. I don't know. It might. It could. It could. It could be any time, really. Like a leak is a leak. At the end of the day, you just gotta take it with a pinch of salt. But um, but from what I've read, if and if if it is, I don't know how reliable the source is. But personally, there's a lot of debate about remasters. Like like I was only having a conversation with a friend, C Note Gaming, the other day. Um and. Uh, Mr. C Note, as they call him, and um, and what a lovely guy. But me and him were chatting away the other day on Xbox, and we were talking about remasters and why do we do we think? And me personally, I think games that are only get, uh, games that are like have had huge followings, like Halo, like Gears of War, like Fable, um, games that like are old as well, like games that could potentially be forgotten about if if not if no remasters are done. Then I think it's worth doing them, and, I, and I'm happy for certain games to be remastered. Halo, absolutely. Gears of War, yes, absolutely. And also, if you think about it, not just for people like myself who've already played the games, but for like the younger generation coming through, who might have never heard of games like Halo or Gears of War, I do think they need to do it. I, one of my first ever videos for my channel, I talked about Gears of War remastered. And I do believe they should do it, and I, and I think this is a good idea because it, it'll it, it'll allow them to do a beta. But all I will say is um, for, and this goes for Gears of War Four as well. Um, if they're gonna do a remaster, they have to make sure it's not another disaster like the Halo Master Chief Collection. Take your time, and if you're gonna release it, make sure you release it. In good nick because it says that it's going to be released December 2015. Um, so, well, I know I know Market Ma um, Master Chief Collection was like November 11th, I think. So still like approaching the Christmas period, and that's why they rushed it to get it out on the shelves. I'd rather than postpone it to early 2016. I would rather it be ready, much like Uncharted 4 on the PlayStation 4 is being postponed to 2016. And um, what's the other game? Uh, Quantum Break for the Xbox One postponed to 2016. You have people all the time making fun, saying, ah, it's been postponed because it's rubbish, or whatever stupid comments fanboys have to say. But it's not. I want more games to do it. I, and, and I want, and if Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 remastered it is definitely happening. Um, I don't want them to give a release date yet unless they know for a fact it'll be ready because I do not want another game like the Master Chief Collections and for games like Quantum Break and um, uh, Uncharted um, it's, it's, it's good it's good development, it's not lazy they want their game to be the best possible and I, and I take my hat off for them and, uh, and I want the Gears of War remaster by Black Tusk Studio to do exactly the same thing. I'm begging you, if anyone's watching this, share it. I want, I certainly, I do not want a repeat of the Master Chief Collection. And and, and as a huge Gears of War fan, uh, whatever truth I can take from this, 
but it has obviously sparked a few things that I've wanted to say, which I've just done. Um, as far as how much truth I can take from this, it's just as likely as it is unlikely. Um, to, like, I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Have a read for yourself. Have a look at the banner. See if it looks. See if you think it looks real. Put in the comment section what you think. I'm taking this with a pinch of salt. But as for E3, we know something about Gears is going to be um, released, whether it be the remastered or Gears of War 4, because Rod Ferguson said, and I quote in a tweet, um, that we are working on other exciting Gears projects. I'll see you at E3. So we know we're going to get some Gears information by E3, whatever it is. But if it is going to be a remastered edition, my only advice to the developers at Black Tusk and Epic, I don't know if Epic are going to help with the remaster, but just take your time and by God, don't do another Halo Master Chief collection. And that's all I have to say. Um, I've read the article out. I've got the link in the description for you. Um, I think it's a great idea. I am a huge Gears of War fan. And if the small print is right in having all the DLC, all the maps, everything, um, then yes, brilliant. The only thing I will say, just to finish the video, is the Master Chief Collection tried to do too much, I think. They should have just had all four games on one disc where you could play the four games separately rather than going into the one multiplayer and it had all the games jumbled up because I think that's where they went wrong. They tried to overcomplicate it. The code in, you know, they obviously had trouble trying to cross, you know, connect all four games into one so you know, if you went into big team battle, it'd have the cho you know, it'd have like a voting system on whether you play Halo 4, 3, 2, or whatever, what map. And it was a good idea. I liked the I liked the vision. They had a good idea going with it, but it's safe to say it didn't work. So my only advice for Black Tusk Studio, if you are indeed making a Gears of War remastered, one, two, and three, uh, leave judgment out because with all due respect, it wasn't fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you're doing one, two, and three. Do the separate games. All on one disc, fair enough, but separately. So you put your disc in and the main menu has Gears of War 1, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3. You select the one you want to play and then you're go you go into a separate menu to choose the campaign or multiplayer. And then I want that to go for all three games. Please don't do what Master Chief Collection done and try and muddle it up and mix it up. So you go into like Warzone or Execution or Guardian and you have a random voting system of Gears 1, 2 or 3 and different map. Just don't. Don't overcomplicate it. Just keep it simple, polish it, make it perfect and it would be a great game. Um, but whatever the case, I mean, personally, um, even though I'd love a remaster, I want them to do it when the timing's right. I mean, if it's going to affect how they develop Gears of War 4, then I'd rather them sack off a, a, a remaster and concentrate on their new Gears of War game. Because end of the day, remasters are a nice, um, a nice novelty, they're lovely to have, but I don't want to have them at the expense of our new games being good. Because end of the day, I bought a new console, a new generation machine, I want to see new games. And I want new IPs, new games, and new Pro, you know, new standards um, over remasters all day long. But that's only if it's going to clash. If they can do a remaster and then do a Gears of War 4 or do a Gears of War 4 then a remaster and it doesn't affect the plans of either one, then great. But yeah. So uh, without blabbing too much, that's all I have to say. I've read the article. That's the latest. I'll put it in the description. I've given you my opinion on on games being postponed for the better, and I think it's a, I think most companies, if not all companies, should do it. And uh, yeah, let's just hope. Whatever the case, E3, there's going to be some exciting stuff from Gears of War, from Halo, from all sorts, and I cannot wait. Um, but I've given you my opinion now, guys, so thank you. Uh, like, share, comment, give your opinion on what you think. And uh, have a read of the article and let me know what you think in terms of how real it is. Like I said, I'm taking it with a pinch of salt. But, if it, but like, assuming it is real, I've given you everything in terms of my opinion that I believe they should do. So, uh, yeah, probably about ten minutes longer than this video should have been. But thank you for watching and take care. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.